In this lecture, we're gonna cover the secrets to taking really good looking product shots. Now, good product shots, I would say, are in two main categories. One is lifestyle shots, and one is what I would call like Amazon photos, where it's just a typical product shot with a perfectly white background. So we're gonna cover the tips on taking both of these really well. Now with any small products, you might try getting close to it to take a really good close-up shot, but the problem is you just can't get close enough to it and the item just kind of looks really small in the frame. So the trick to this is using what's called a macro lens. The macro lens allows you to get quite a bit closer to the subject. And let's say all that you bought was your like basic DSLR and maybe a nifty 50 prime lens or something like that. If that's your only lens, you can get what's called macro rings or macro adapters for it. And that allows, um, it actually pulls the lens a little bit away from the body, which turns it into a macro lens. And it allows you to get quite a bit closer to the subject that you're photographing. So for example, if this is the camera I'm using and it has like a little 45 prime lens on it, I can take the lens off and put it on an adapter that's going to make it stick further out from the body. And what that does is allows my lens to get a lot closer to the subject. Another trick, if you don't wanna spend the $20 on a macro ring to make the lens come out further, is you can take the lens off, you spin it backwards and just hold it by hand next to the body of your camera. And then depending on how close you are, that's how you'll pull focus since it's not actually attached. And this will give you the same macro effect. The thing is you'll have less control, so it's kind of just based on the lens. So with this setup, depending on how near or far I am from the product, I would just control it by distance to put it in focus and then take the photo. But that will give me a macro effect for a lens that's not a macro lens. Now for taking the really quality like Amazon type product shots where it's just a white background, here's just a piece of styrofoam, but let's say uh, for the white background, depending on how it's lit is really going to change the color of it. So if it needs to be perfectly white, you can see right here, it's kind of a like medium gray whereas now it's quite a bit brighter and it's just based on the reflection of my light source or how it's lit. And so if you have a white background that your product's sitting on, like let's say it's just on the table and you're taking a photo, if you can get a light source under the white paper so that light's actually coming through it, then the white paper will be quite a bit brighter than if you just are casting shadows onto it from the product or if you just don't have it lit well. So just lighting the white background makes a really big difference in whether it's actually white or not. And then the final thing to understand with taking really great product shots is there's three different types of material. So you can have something opaque where light's not gonna go through it. It can be translucent where a little light goes through or it can be completely transparent where it's just see-through. So if I'm photographing something like a wine glass, it's completely transparent, the glasses. So my light has to be perfectly on the sides of it because if it's um, behind it at all or in front of it at all, you're going to notice that in the reflections of it. Um, and then once there's liquid in it, that's more translucent, but it's gonna be kind of the same effect where you're gonna want lights on the sides. However, if it's opaque and you only have lights on the side, there's gonna be no light hitting the front or back for the most part. So in that situation, you would want to like angle the light maybe more at a 45. So there's still depth to it, but it's not lit perfectly from the sides. Depending on the material, you can just kind of play with the lighting and just see what angles look best. But typically you'll wanna be either perfectly on the sides of the subject or just slightly quartered away. So with this knowledge, you're gonna be able to take really great looking product shots. And then in the next lecture, I'm gonna show you how to Photoshop them.